Speaking of commerce, it's time All right, here we are for here. long Let's play part it. three, and we're definitely getting a Staunton Island in this part since we're on the final missions of Portland. So here we are. I'm going to uh, tell you the out dialogue, the, the cutout dialogue in the PS2 version. We should take these Colombian bastards out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leon. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Okay, so two things I wanted to mention. One, so the PS2 version was released first, so this is... this version on the PS4 is, is ported and more polished. A little bit more polished. It's not like a remastered. They just polished the game to make it look a little bit more better because it's on a, it's on a HD console rather than a non-HD console. I don't know what they call those yellow, red, and white uh, plugs. But another thing that, I've, uh, that I wanted to say was um, um, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, the dial... Yeah, yeah, oh no, no, yeah, yeah, the dialogue part, um, about the dialogue, um, sorry, I know it's annoying when I talk, because I'm trying to get my thoughts out, I'm so sorry, that's just how I am, forgive me guys, but, um, um, I believe that they, they really wanted to put in that line badly, but, but released it, like, after, but, but only thought of that idea after GTA on the PS3 on the PS2 was released, so they added it in the PC versions and all the other versions. And another thing is that Salvatore, even though it's the same voice actor, I don't know if it's just me, but Salvatore sounds different in this game than at Liberty City Stories and San Andreas, because in both of those games, he sounds the exact same, but in this game, his voice sounds more muffled. Yo, my man! Salvatore phoned ahead with a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need a hundred thousand dollars to cover expenses. But you know with me you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Yeah, and uh, a hundred thousand dollars is uh, not a problem, cause uh... Yeah, it's not a problem because uh, the missions of Portland pay you enough to be able to get to that point, and this is one of the final missions. On uh, this, so yeah, I, I don't know if I should cut this out or if I should leave it in, but I'm going to go save, and then I'll be right back at eight balls because uh, I'll, if I fail this, because this is a, the sensitive sniper mission, because if I fail this, I want to be able to uh, reload the game and uh, do it back from the start again without having to play Salvatore's cutscene and the eight ball cutscene again. So I'll see you guys back at eight balls. Yeah, so I decided for the long play videos I'm doing, I'm gonna cut out when uh, I save my game because you guys don't really need to see that. That's, you know, kind of boring. But yeah, here we go. I'm about to sneeze, I feel like, but act two. Okay, let's do this thing. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Yeah, you can pick it up. Uh, and who? <sighs> that should be like a me a, a metal briefcase at least. Like who carries a bomb in a cardboard box? Like that's not safe, I don't think. But but here we go. You guys are definitely gonna see me fail. I'm gonna include all my fails and uh, cut to when I actually pass the mission. So yeah, gonna run over the hobos. I don't think they're there because I oh yeah because I killed them in. Well, I didn't kill them. Probably not all of them, but like once you mess with them, then I don't think they appear again. I'm, I really don't know, but uh, the hobos, like I killed them during Blowfish, so I don't know if they'll appear again in that tunnel, in the in this save file at least. I, I I don't know what makes them appear again, or if there is even is a way to do that. But anyways, here we are. Get a good vantage point, then I'll Did head in when you fire the first shot. In other words, I'm not going to wait for you to be done sniping the guys, because I want to commit suicide! Fucking idiot. 8-Ball, 8-Ball's a, 8 -ball's a character that everybody loves. Like, he's, he's a cool dude, he feels like the deuteronomist of this game, he, he, which is the second main character after the protagonist, but he's not, it's actually Maria. But, we don't know if Claude killed her or not, so to me, with 8-Ball and Claude, even though they're only together in two missions, 
Um, I consider 8-Ball to be uh, the main man of Claude since uh, that's what they call each other. And I like 8-Ball. Cool dude he is. And look, that's a crouching animation that they could have put in this game, but they didn't. Like, if I easily press the L3 button right now, I could do exactly what he's doing, but you can't know, you can't do that in the, this game. So the vantage point that they point to before, you know, the the directional uh, map markers were a thing in Vice City, they point you to this vantage point, and once you get to it, then the pink dot disappears. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. At least, I'm, at least I'm on the PS4, so it's a little better than the PS2, but... Still not great. Oh, it's perfect. Look at this. I'm able to do this so well. My banshee didn't despawn. It's not that it's not that sensitive as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's do this. Cause I'm on a PS4. Uh, cause I'm using a PS4 controller. Okay, let's jump right through this. Okay, it's not the best thing. It's still a little sensitive, but it's better. It's better than my shitty PS2. Get that guy. Okay. Fuck. Ah, fuck you! Like, I, I can move it carefully if I want to, but I don't have time to adjust my thumb and move the thumbstick carefully, you know? It's like I'm in a rush, so I use, like, one part of my thumb, and it doesn't help because it makes the... It makes it go... It makes the, the analog stick move farther so that's why because it, in Liber if this was liberty city stories or vice city stories even if i move the move the sniper aiming the way i i do in in this game it would just go like this that's how it is in lcs and vcs this it's so good that's how the that's how it moves the sniper critical moves but we did it on the first try I'm so happy i uh, this mission is hard on my ps2 because the the analog sticks are harder to use for the ps2 i believe and speaking of playstations oh fuck that ps5 announcement like like i, I get it it's a new generation of consoles and the playstation 5 is coming out but like i'm good with my ps4 i really don't have a need to get a playstation 5 unless games can't come out that's not for ps4 that i want to play Play badly, then yeah, sure, maybe I'll get a PS5 because I have a PS2, PS3, PS4, and why not get the PS5? But one thing, I'm not a fan of the white because that's that's a callback to the original PlayStation One. Which hey, that's the first one. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that like I'm talking, so let me turn off the radio. I'm just like I'm just I, I just I like 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 the, it reminds me of my Wii. Not that it's up. Uh, ugly or anything but like i like how they made the wii u black i i, I don't know I don't, I, I don't know if like nintendo wii is uh, a, a, a traditional color is white or whatever i mean yeah but i'm talking about nintendo in general but like i'm not really sure i like the the white on the ps5 it, it definitely looks sick and clean not gonna lie i'm just i don't know if i totally like it it, it, it looks clean it looks better than the ps4 but i don't know if i like it that they made it white hopefully they sell some in black soon but even still i don't know if i'm gonna get it or not but and here's where rockstar fans are fucking crying and furious because uh oh uh, rockstar is announcing uh, two new games to the ps5 gta 6 please 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 trailer why did i move here i guess it was the weather no <sighs> PS3, GTA 5. I, I know it had GTA 4 too, but PS3, GTA 5, PS4, GTA 5, P PS5. How about GTA 6? Probably nope. PS5. I mean, nope. GTA 5 for the PS5. Huh? I just, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna ever get my wishes to come true for uh, from Rockstar anytime soon. I want Vice City stories on mobile like they did for the rest of the 3D era games, but I'm assuming it's because the, they lost the licensing on most of the songs for Vice City stories. So, but the other thing I really want is for them to, like they s announced then on, on the exact date, September 29th, 2017, ES ESRB rated Liberty City stories and Vice City stories ported uh, PS3, uh, 
porting to PS4. I need that so badly so I can finally start my Let's Plays on those games. But I have to find a way to record on my PS3 because it was such trouble doing it before with Vice City and GTA 3 on my PS2 with my dad's old laptop because I had to post commentate everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm spoiled because I had to post commentate acting like I was doing live commentary because it just it just wasn't because because I couldn't hear the game audio when I was doing it live. So I had to do it post commentary. But anyways, and I I couldn't do I couldn't do it the laptop software wouldn't allow me to do post comment wouldn't allow me to do live commentary either so that was shitty but I hope I hope I have better luck installing an HD Gato and a better uh, a better software uh, for for the for you know recording but anyways I'm sorry for all that rant I just had to let all of that out here's the final Portland mission that moves us to start no, no, no. okay not the last cuz you guys know what the next the mission is I'm proud of you my boy you kicked the shit out of those grease balls. are you I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate there's a car around the block from Luigi's Club the inside is covered in brains we gotta help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. <sighs> fuck. fuck. And this is why, yeah, they consider Salvatore to be the secondary antagonist of the game, not the tertiary, which is kind of surprising since Miguel works with Catalina, so you'd think he would be the secondary antagonist, especially since he he dies way later in the game than Salvatore does, but they consider Salvatore the secondary antagonist of, of this game, while Catalina's the main one. So... Which I, which I really don't get. I mean, I, I don't get because I probably because his betrayal, his betrayal of Claude was such bullshit. Because hey, I just helped you blow up that fucking spank boat as a personal favor, like you wanted, and yet you're gonna, and yet you're gonna offer me to the cartel and and have me killed just because you think you don't even know for sure from Claude. You just. <laughs> think assume that I was with that I was with your woman and that we're having an affair and that we're an item like fuck Salvatore like I liked him in Liberty City Stories of Vice City and not I liked him in Liberty City Stories of San Andreas he was a uh, pretty funny in those two games but in, in this game we hate him let's face it Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal I couldn't let him do that I mean the worst thing is it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Fuck you. You're a man on the mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I. And you're gonna see more killing and blood on Staunton, so don't think you're free from that yet. This is GTA, after all. You're gonna see killing and blood no matter what. Maria, Mamma Mia. Fun fact, I don't know if I, I... I showed this off in my original LP, so I, I, I'm not going to show it again because I don't want to risk failing the mission, but if you punch either of them, they'll shoot you with Uzis. <laughs> they'll, sh they'll shoot you with, uh, yeah, Uzis. Unless you're driving the boat, then they won't, they won't shoot, but... Um, but yeah, that's the, br the broken bridge above us that still looks as it did on day one when it blew up. But uh, after we get here, it's it's magically going to repair itself, and the news is going to act like um, that the repairman did it, even though there's no repairman seen. the The real reason for that is because it's become the game, because the game really needs the Callahan Bridge to be unlocked. Welcome to Staunton Island. Um. Yeah, oh yeah, I left Asuka and uh, Maria on the rocks one time because of a glitch. I like slid them off a boat and left them on the island. So I went to the mission marker and it didn't trigger because they weren't on the boat. How funny Asuka is that? Asuka and I are going to have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit you. Fuck! Come back here to my condo when you and you and me can have a little chat. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the thing that I said I was going to do now that I'm Staunton Island. Fuck, man. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'll, I'll tell you guys about the after uh, Sayonara Salvatore the cutscene. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I am Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore Leone's family. I can give you work with our organization. But first, you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours' time. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. 
Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. That's not a massager. I, I know, I know, yeah, I'm 19 years old. I probably should get that joke, but I, I don't. If anybody could explain it in the comments, I, I'd, I'd appreciate that, but... Uh, um, ah, mad, because I said I was going to store a Mafia Sentinel in my Portland garage and then bring it to Staten Island after I completed Sayonara Salvatore, but I forgot to do that. I'm mad that I forgot to do that. Because uh, now my long play really isn't so perfect after all. I'm trying not to fail any missions. I'm just... Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I'm sorry. I talked over the uh, one... Okay, glitchy. But uh, I talked over one of the only two, only two news reports in this game. Because, you know, that there's a lot in uh, Liberty City stories and Vice City stories. But... Uh, the 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 um, the the lady from uh, L, uh, from LCN will make announcements on the radio only when uh, the bridge is unlocked. But it's not like this game. Like if you if you get out of the car while you're in the middle of the radio announcement, um, it'll 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 stop and you can listen to music again. But if this were Liberty City stories and Vice City stories, no, the game forces you to listen to the radio announcements because. Uh, no, 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 those games, the stories games, force you to listen to the radio announcements. But this game, no, because it's the same, because uh, Vice City and GTA 3 kind of run on the same engine. They're, they're very similar and comparable games, so... <sighs> you know what? Oh, Alright, what was the time? What was the time? Uh, 17.30? Fuck, we got a minute. A minute. Fuck! Because after this mission, they spawn with fucking shotguns. I don't think I can make it in a minute. I was gonna go get a Mafia Sentinel while the Mafia do not have shotguns in St. Mark's. <sighs> because I don't want to do it during Gang Car Round because it saves time. Like, while I'm here in Portland now, why not? Because I have to go to Portland anyway for the Diablo Stallion, so I really don't want to have to come to uh, Portland twice during that mission. Because I just, I, I, I don't like driving so much. And even in GTA, I know it's GTA and it's fun, but like, I know it's not real life, but like, even even I hate driving a lot in uh, GTA. I'm not going to get that hidden package, because I, I never know when I want to do another hidden packages or collectibles marathon. So I'm trying to avoid collecting hidden packages, even though there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm trying to avoid it. So stay behind this ledge, because uh, if you jump up on that ledge, the Mafia will see you. And I failed the mission because of that. It's kind of... It's so impossible to chase Salvatore during this mission, because, like... I don't know. I just feel like drive-by chases are hard in this game. And... And Sal Salvatore, if he gets out of the car, which he most likely will, he has an M16, which shreds cars or you in seconds. You want to avoid people with M16s in this game, because, like, because, like, there are a few there are a few missions in the game where people will have M16s, and that's not good. That that because that like because that gun shreds you in seconds, which which I'm I'm really glad that like uh, that like nobody. Fuck. My clip ended, sorry, 15 minutes, but like, I'm so glad that no AIs in Vice City, San Andreas, LCS, or VCS have guns in any missions that include the minigun or M60. I'm so glad, because like, the game developers were thinking, they would know that ha that giving other people those heavy weapons in, in, in those missions would be totally unfair, so... Yeah, I'm glad they were thinking, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna one, pick up my pizza that I ordered, and two, um, get the Mafia Sentinel, um, get the Mafia Sentinel, risk my ass getting it, and then I'll check it back with you guys later, so, uh, back at Asuka's, so see you then. Uh, so now it, I didn't want to, uh, start the video, um, but yeah, I got it. I got the Mafia Sentinel easily by. Uh, it's not that it's hard to do. I just don't prefer doing it. I'd rather get it very e much easily than driving on freaking Portland Beach. Um, but I, I got it. So now I can do gank car roundup easily and only have to go to Portland once. And I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. And the reason. Here's another beeper. Hello. 
This should be coming anytime soon. There we go. So I just wanted to show off that beeper, just showing us that we access King Courtney's missions, which is next, because that's the next mission strand that trends. Not Kenji's, but King Courtney's next. But yeah. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hey, it's Tony Cipriani. I like how Ma, uh, no, I, really. uh, Ma Cipriani show, talks about usually... her son on the, the uh, Chatterbox bit of LCFR and Liberty City Stories, and then Tony talks about his mom on Chatterbox in GTA 3. That's that's kind of neat how they did that. It, it's almost like La it's uh, it's almost like Laszlo could even three years later could connect the dots and figure out that that the two that the two people who were talk who were talking one who, who was talking about his mother and the other talking about her son he could connect the dots and figure out that 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 they were talking about each other you know what i mean but anyways uh i don't want to cut anything out here but my pizza is uh my pizza is uh, waiting at domino's yes i like domino's fight me but so i'm gonna go get it and i'll be back with you guys at asuka's Okay, moving on to Suka's next mission, but uh, first I want to uh, show the ammunition off. Just gonna buy everything here except the armor. And uh, in Liberty City Stories, this ammunition has the same stuff. Like, I don't understand why it has to be the same stuff. I know Philly, Phil Cassidy's fully cocked gun shop kind of helps that, but like, um... Like, I don't understand why they couldn't change the inventory of, the, of that just a little bit, especially when um, Vice City Stories ammunitions change between the two games, you know? <clears throat> especially being able to buy a minigun at the mall? That's, uh, that never happened in Vice City. But here we go. You're an efficient killer. I like that in a man. Ah, this is my brother, Kenji. Asuka has a little job for you, but when you're done, drop by my casino and we can talk. Just like Kenji, always trying to play with my toys. I don't even know what I don't even want to know what, what that means. Indicates that the mafia FBI are interest around the city in a bid to track you down. We cannot continue our operations until they are dealt with. Take out these spying fools and end this vendetta once and for all. PC translation, and this is confusing because why is the dialogue changed on the PC if this? <clears throat> All right, that the FBI are watching our whatever, whatever it, around the city a bit to track you down. It is too late to continue any operations until they are dealt with. Take out these spying fools, but be careful. Blah 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 blah. I don't remember what she said, but uh, what? But what? It's the mafia. Like we're killing mafia. So the PS2 version was right. So why do they feel the need to change Asuka's dialogue in the PC and later versions of the game? That, doesn't really make sense to me, but I don't know. Okay, that's a, is that a cop? N okay. Actually, cops don't get alerted when you use a sniper, so we're good. In the later games, they do, but in this game, now nah, we're 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 Gucci. We're Gucci. Hey, you gotta. S what the? F I didn't. He didn't die. Ah. Uh. Is he done? All right, he's done. I want to get that ammo. No reason. I just like getting ammo from enemies. Um. So yeah, I could have just shot them from the park with the AK-47, but nah, sniping is easier. There's a reason they put the sniper in the game. They despawned, didn't they? Okay, well that one did, but that one didn't. All right, so time for the next location. Perfect. Uh, Weapon for the next location is the grenades. I love this song. I, I hate that 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 none of the songs on Flashback not uh, ninety five six except for uh, yeah they call it Flashback FM. Same same deal. Same uh, rant that I went on about about uh, how it's called Jaw Radio in this game, but everybody calls it K Jaw. Like okay okay. Um, okay, the one of the radio announcers does call it Flashback 95.6 in, in this game, so at least there's that. But like, like for most of the part, everybody calls it Flashback FM. Please don't be a cop. Crap, 
crap, gotta get away from him, go on the other side, that way... God, he's still there, I feel like he's gonna arrest me. I, not arrest me, but like... Okay, move, uh, is that still, that's not a cop. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> so just throw the grenade, and we're good. I didn't wanna... Okay, enough, enough blowing up. I did get a star, but at least there was no cops around, because I hate, I hate dealing with uh, cops during a one star wanted level when I'm trying to drive away. It's the worst in Vice City stories because pedestrians, will, any pedestrians, including the cops, will literally knock off your doors, and then and then you get busted. I hate when that happens in Vice City stories. Whereas the other games, at least you have a chance to get some speed and drive away to make them fall off the car as they're grabbing the door. But Vice City stories, no, I hate I hate when they do that. So they start shooting. Play off M16s, I'm gonna do my best to try and collect their ammo. I'm gonna do my best to kill them quickly so I can collect their, their ammo that that fall down. So yeah, there's no way to get up there unless you like do some magical shit with the dodo. Or install it. So they're like up there. God only knows how. Oh I didn't press square. Fuck. Where that's it! 60 bullets? Alright, gotta make it worth it then. Alright. So, where was I? I, was, I had another thought. Oh yeah, only one M16, and that's not combining all of them, because in the later games, like in the in, in the games after this one, um, if like multiple enemies die next to each other with the same weapon, then it'll just count as one pickup, but with the, with the amount of ammo, please, please, oh god. It'll still count. It'll they'll still count the pickup, of like with the the amount of ammo that the enemies dropped. But in this game, all the the guns. If if that happens in this game, the guns uh, fall down like as like separate weapons. So, oh, crap! I should have known. I should have known. This is GTA 3. Whereas if you steal a, a gang car in front of another gang uh, driving the car, then they'll chase you. I forgot that happens. Don't flip again! Not that it matters, I'm closer now, but still. Yeah, MSX is the Yakuza station. I like- I personally like the station better in Liberty City Stories, but it's okay. Now, I could do this mission the police boat way if I wanted to, but I don't know well, if I feel like it. <laughs> Marie and I have taken a little holiday together until you can get rid of this perverted voyeur. He's probably out in the bay as you read this. Steal a police boat and sink his career. I like, I like the way she says career, like, uh, sink his career. Almost like she's putting too much, like, an, of an accent or emphasis on the R. Almost making it sound like a D. But anyways, let's go to the Predator. And I like how the mission, the, the, in the future GTA games, the, the mission text will have colors. If you're playing on the PS2, they'll have colors. Like, of the controller, like, the, the X button, the triangle button, or the square button, or the circle button, it's just plain white in the, in the how-to mission text in this game, but, uh... Ah, oh, shit. I forgot. Ah, don't risk it, don't risk it, I'm just gonna... Because this trick is harder than I thought, so... I'm just gonna do it the normal way. At least the water's not choppy. If the water was choppy, then I would probably use, do the M16 trick from the dock that I learned from Al Malloy. And you hear, you hear like bullets hitting the boat, and I don't know what that is. Ah, I didn't want to get the welcome back to Portland sign because I just want to do this quickly. But um, you hear gunshots hitting one of the boats, and I, and I don't know where that's from. It, like the guy's driving the boat, so how is he shooting our boat? You know what I mean? Alright, goodbye. So yeah, the boats in this game have no radio, whereas in the future games they do. I mix uh, Liberty City stories, making GTA 3 look not superior at all. Since Liberty City stories did take a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, 
things from Vice City to improve this game. To improve another game in the series that took place back in this city. Although, two things I wish they could have brought back in Liberty City Stories. The ability to, one, swim, and two, the ability to fly helicopters. That's literally all I need for it to be, like, the perfect game to me. Okay, it's not perfect, but, like... Like, I'm, I'm upset, like, like after Vice City and San Andreas, we, we still can't fly helicopters? Like, are you fucking kidding me? And even worse, to put them in missions, yet do everything they can to stop us from flying it? That's even more fuck... That's more, even more fucking boneheaded, so... It's my hands I, I understand hands this game because Maria they weren't really implemented to be flyable vehicles, but Liberty City Stories, I mean, come on! And no, you could swim like in San Andreas really and Vice City Stories, but not Liberty City Stories? It's time you met our man Rockstar, are you trying to tell us white people can't swim? For Except for, you know, Nico Bellic, Michael, Trevor, He's and, uh... Get to the and, and Johnny Clebitz. As as because all the other white people can't swim. In the 3D era, at least. Alright, so time for this annoying mission. I don't know why the fuck I'm taking the Yakuza Stinger. I pro probably m should take the Banshee, but I feel like I'm wasting time if I get the Banshee. So I'm ah! Good to do the Yakuza Stinger. This is like the worst time mission ever. I can do it. Like, if you play this game, then uh, then this mission's easy, but to to have to, like, the, like the second one in Belleville, like, this is why this game really needed the uh, the directional map markers more than any other game because there's a road under that. So how are you supposed to tell if it's above, above you or below you? Especially since you can hear it too. Like you could hear the payphone anywhere, regardless if you're regardless of where you are on the map. Like you could still hear the payphone ringing no matter where you are, even if you're under it. And I'll explain after this. Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. So, like, the Porter Tunnel in this game runs, uh... This doesn't happen in Liberty City Stories, because there's a, there's, a, there's a phone call at, uh, that payphone in Liberty City Stories that I'm about to talk about, too. Uh, a, a car race, I mean, but, like... In GTA... Uh, fuck. In GTA 3, when you drive on the uh, Wichita Garden side of the Porter Tunnel, you drive directly under where... Uh, the ice's um, uh, missions are. You can hear the phone ringing from inside the tunnel, so that that's that's what I mean. And even when you're driving a boat, or, and you're right above, um, you're right above the Porter Tunnel or subway, you can hear the train pass by under you or cars pass by you in the tunnel. Pat, yeah, you know what I mean. So like I, so. That's what I mean. I don't. So the sound, ba the sound barriers in this game are not very realistic. Because how? Why should I be able to hear a fucking payphone ringing from an underground tunnel? Like, <laughs> uh, but that's why I love this game. Because not everything has to make sense. Uh, I, I hope you guys love my uh, commentary because I am doing my best. Here we are at the payphone that we do a mission for for Salvatore and Liberty City Stories. I love how the phone makes it, the payphones make a noise when you, uh, go up to them. Like, if you bump into them on foot. Sometimes I get scared before an important event, such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you have a little trouble navigating life's trouble spots. That's why I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from by Cybatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. That's how that's how much I know this game, guys. When you can remember every commercial word for word, uh, every word of every commercial, and even remember the expression of how it's said. I'm trying to make my videos more fun with my commentary. Oh, I thought that tree was solid. Thank God it wasn't. Now you hit them with grenade launchers or flamethrowers and let them haunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich and a happy blimp, and all of a sudden these guys get crashed through the window and start shooting at each other. 
I was so I was so here? excited. I didn't even notice I've been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Another Survivor. Thing. I watched it every day in that Just hospital. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from Internal Affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big, one open, big sewer. open sewer. But I'm gonna need some non-union help. And if you're interested. You know where to find me. I love how Claude just starts walking away even when Ray is not done talking, as if he knows that Ray is done talking. Kind of interesting, but uh, go to this next mission, and I probably should not go in the. I should probably I should not so take this car with the conditions in it's in and right I now. I was gonna take the Banshee. Now seeing it's not there, maybe it'll respawn if I start this mission. Don't get has trying to pick blow it up, but whatever. Stretch arm strongs now with the uh, hey, hey. okay. Two faced Tanner, Maria the driver, the shopping. protagonist of Driver. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car. That's a so reference to Driver because you can't leave the car in that game. I love that. This is like a random mission. Caller, you're on Chatterbox. This is such. So yeah, yeah. As I was saying, this is such a random mission. Oh fuck! Please, Banshee. Nope. This is such a random mission because, like, because, like, it's uh, most of the missions in this game are pointless. It's just let's let's admit that. Like, all all it, all the missions really are in this game is like is like do do this, do this, do this, while the fucking protagonist doesn't speak at all, but. Um, but like, especially this mission, like, why was this put in the game? Just to make fun of Driver? Like, there's nothing interesting about having a mission where you have to chase somebody and kill them during a four-star wanted level. Like, that's just straightforward stuff, even if it's not the most easiest thing in the world. Like, there's nothing interesting about that, which makes me think that they really intended for this mission to be towards Driver and to make fun of that game for whatever reason. I don't know why. I... And if, uh, I, I don't remember if Driver was made by Rockstar, but if it, if it is, then I'm gonna be super, I'm gonna be super surprised, because why? Ah, no oh, fuck, I probably shouldn't park my car here. Uh, where should I park it? Ah, oh, fuck, don't go in the marker, don't go in the marker. <gasps> fuck, I don't wanna go in the marker. Not yet. I'll park it like this, leave my door open. Don't be okay. Every time I hear that engine sound, I get worried that it's a cop. I'm gonna do as much damage to this guy as I can. And I don't—I don't even know if his face matches the driver one protagonist. Okay, that's enough damage. We can finish the rest off. Whoa! Where did you come from? You're totally fucking blocking my. Don't get busted! Don't get busted! Don't get busted! Oh. Now I'm in danger. Because they knocked off. Oh, fuck! Fuck! I, I just wanted to do this quickly, and instead now I gotta find another car. Oh, God. They like. My car wasn't even that damaged. So they like destroyed my car when the SWAT van came up. The Enforcer. Uh, damn it! I hate the cops in this game because like the cars, the cars are more clunky in this game. So like you you hit something, it goes flying or rolling. So you, it's harder to control the cars in this game. I do have to admit. Rhyme no more, burn till I can't burn no more. Shot till there's no shot. World to the earth can't turn no more. Something. Uh, okay. Where's this? Where's this? Fuck! Ah! Again! Again? Why are the cars so easy to blow up? Help! 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 I'm about to be busted! Don't get busted! Don't get busted! Fuck off! Really? I, with the amount of damage I just given him, this should be easy. But the fucking no! 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 Oh my god! Fuck! Oh my god! Fuck! 
You're kidding me! I, that's funny. You guys are gonna laugh your asses off, and th oh my god, yeah, fly away, fucker, fly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was funny. I, I'll admit, but I'm pissed off because I lost my weapons. But that was funny. That was funny. But now I gotta get an M16. Try that shit. <coughs> Try that shit again. The cops. Oh my fucking god. Oh, <laughs> I'm mad and I'm I'm mad, but laughing at the same time. Fuck, man! I'm I'm only laughing because I, I know you guys are gonna enjoy that. <sighs> but anyways, let's do that again, shall we? All right, second try with the M16, and I think and uh, he's running out of his car. Time to kill him. I like da I damaged his car enough. With all 60. Come on, come on, just get to him! Stop jumping and wasting time! Oh, he's all the way over there. Running like a sissy. Just gotta catch up to him. Not you! God! Don't run me over, don't run me over, don't shoot him either, jeez. Jesus Christ, that should not have been as hard as it was. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I don't really have much to lose, because, like, the weapons, like, who cares? Because, like, you can buy, you can buy, you can buy them all back. I had a lot of bullets, that's the only thing I'm pissed about, but it's okay. Hey, let me stop for some armor and more weapons for bullets. I got all your own defense needs. And here's the thing: I would reload, but I didn't save after those couple missions, so I'm not. So what? So what's better? Like, I'm not saving. I'm not gonna save that much. I'm, I'm gonna deal with my deaths, but um, but like. What's better, having to reload and do several missions over again, or just dealing with your death and continuing where you left off, despite losing all weapons? I don't really know. That's a hard choice for me. You guys decide in the comments what what's better. <clears throat> Alright, let's get them with the bling bling. And it says payphone in Espatria, but it's really in Liberty Campus. Like, I know it's on the outside of Espatria, but when you go into it, it says Liberty Campus. What do you want, Ruby? What do you want? What do you want, Ruby? You want to be pet? You want to be pet? What do you want? What do you want? What do you, what do you want so bad? You need to go to the bathroom or something? What do you want? What do you want? Are you trying to go outside? Uh, this ain't gonna be easy because I can't just stop what I'm doing. Okay, okay, go, go lay down. Lay down. All right, I just thought I had a little fun with my dog there on video. Has an annoying ass bark. Sometimes the cutscene glitches and the uh, one one of those three cars don't uh, sp spawn in their place right away. They take a long ass time, and you can't skip it, which is annoying. In case, in case that does happen. All right, let's let's hope. <gasps> I wasn't looking at the screen. Fuck. All right, let's. Uh, damn it. I, I I like the version of Bling Bling Scramble when the, the second checkpoint is right there, but nope. So um, I believe like your goal should be at least eight because uh because that's uh that's more than half. 
of uh, 15, which uh, nobody else can beat. So once you get 8, you're good, because you never know how many other checkpoints the drivers are going to get. So, like, the, uh, there are three different drivers, so they could all get different checkpoints, but um, as long as you get 8, that's what you want to aim for to, to be sure that you're 100% going to pass the mission. I'm not going to get that next one. So let's just chill, see where the next one's going to be. Or maybe if I fucking beat him to it now. And now I didn't know where it was. Oh, look. If I crash into that cop, he would be coming after me. But no, you're not going to chase him, are you? Of course not. <laughs> fuck the cops in this game. Like, seriously, fuck the cops in this game. They don't go after anybody else, only you. At least in Vice City, that's fixed a little bit, whereas uh, cops on foot will chase... Uh, pedestrians and you can get good citizen bonuses for that. Don't crash, don't crash. Fuck! This one's really close. Don't crash into a fucking tree. God damn it. God damn it. Go. Gotcha, fucker. I do know you can destroy the other cars in this mission, and you could get all 15 perfectly, but I'm not going to go through the trouble of doing that. You can destroy them without a penalty, yeah. They won't, they won't make you fail the mission if you kill all three drivers. But, uh... Wait until after you have the rocket launcher unlocked to do that, because then you could just... Because uh, once the race starts, you can get out and destroy everybody with a rocket launcher. Beat you again, and I'm about to beat you. And after the app, I'm 100% I'm sure I'm going to get this one, so... Maybe not, if I keep crashing into pe people. And my car blows up. Which it did twice in fucking Two-Face Tanner. Like, why? Why? Like, the car was barely sh the car The two Yakuza Stingers that I was driving were... Okay, maybe the first one, but the second one was barely being shot at. So I don't understand why it caught fire. If it didn't catch fire... Then I would have passed because I would have chased Tanner down and killed him right at then and there. But no, of course I had to go to Fort Staunton, a dangerous lo th that road is dangerous to drive on in case you drive on the water. And the fucking cops. Oh, oh, I'm still laughing about that though. I'm sh pretty sure once uh, anybody watches this video, they are gonna sit through that fail, and then they're gonna laugh their asses off. I'm not gonna blame them either. Gotcha. Alright, I passed the mission because I got eight and nobody can beat that because there's not eight more checkpoints or nine more checkpoints left, so and he's got that one. It was a unique mission, one that they never really put one that they never really put a version of in like future installments. Cool. Is that one back at Espatria Stadium? I could check, but like no map, so how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I, 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 would total, I was really tempted to go to the pause menu for a second and check the map to see if the... Oh no, it's not the last location. I was tempted to pause the game in GTA 3 and check the map, only to make me think, Oh, wait, there is no map. Oh, I finally get... Uh, everybody in my house is out. I don't know when they'll be home. I thought I saw somebody outside. Okay, no, I don't know when my be home, but like, but like everybody's been home. Everybody's been home during quarantine, so I haven't really been able to do videos on my own. But uh, yeah, good shit, good shit, good shit. Um, I could do Uzi Rider. Let's do it. That pr that's probably gonna be the last mission for this segment, and I'm probably gonna end it for this long play part. That's the death sound I was talking about in one of my earlier long play parts. See if you are who you say you are. So Claude's gonna say who he is. He's he's a mute motherfucker. <laughs> I really hate. Like, why couldn't they? I, I. Okay, fine. I, I. The Yardy Lobo doesn't have two seats, but couldn't they? could they have given us a better car for this mission than the fucking Perennial? It's like the worst, like, p pedestrian car in the game. Liquid ride into Edburn Heights. Kill me some filthy Diablo boo boo spin batting up me lady Queen Lizzie. You do the driving and the shooting and the dallying a boot. We'll make sure you don't get cold feet here. 
you'll need a piece. I, I just gotta say, with, uh, um, with little Jacob and GTA 4, they really, they real yeah, the radio always starts at this point in this mission. But I, I, I do have to say that uh, I always take the tunnel, I never take the bridge, because that's, what, what am I going to take the bridge for when I can quickly get to Hepburn Heights, since the tunnel's on the northern side and Hepburn Heights is north of Portland, so. Um, what was I going to say? But, uh, yeah, I forgot, I fucking lost my train of thought again. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, I forgot. I just want more. Rewind. He, okay, I'm glad they gave me a piece that, add, that adds more bullets because I died. Yeah, this is why I can never speedrun this game because, like, I'm kinda slow. I could speedrun GTA 3, actually, but, like, the final missions of the game... But like for two reasons: one, I don't I don't play on PC, and two, I just I'm not the best speedrunner in the world, and I'm I, I guarantee I'm gonna mess up somewhere. Even though they, it's it's so easy to speedrun GTA 3 since not even all the storyline missions are required to get to the final mission. See, most speedruns just require you to get to the final mission. And the only game that I know that has mission that that requires every single storyline mission to complete for the final mission is uh, Vice City Stories. That's the only game I know. You're probably thinking same for Liberty City Stories. No, actually, last of uh, Maria's missions are not required to get to the final mission of that game. Which I'll, I'll mention that again in my Liberty City Stories part. I would drive by the Di Diablos. Think about drive buying the Diablos or any gang in their turf is that when a gang. Okay, okay. Chill, chill, because Diablo Spat Dalian, yeah. They'll chase you. Oh, yeah, the Mafia are already hate me because they, 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 they have shotguns and blow up your car. Oh, yeah, you can run them over too. That's less risky because the Diablo Stallions don't come after you if you, if you uh, drive by it. Uh, shoot a Diablo, then the uh, then the Diablos and the cars do come after you. All right, see? Yeah, that's what I meant. Think I'm on the other side, so you can't really get to me. I'm just gonna run over one last one, and then we're done. Okay, cool. And I don't get it. Why did they do that? Why is it King Courtney's King Courtney's mission strand, a very minor mission strand in the game, not even required for the story or anything like that, gets not one but two gangs to turn hostile towards you: the Yardies themselves and the Diablos. But why couldn't couldn't the Kenji's mission Shima get get the Diablos to turn hostile towards you? Like, why do you why are the Diablos hostile towards you just because you killed ten of them? And Hepburn Hunt is like, seriously? Like, like it would make more sense if the Diablos turned hostile to, to you after the mission... What was it? After the mission... Shima, yeah. That would have made a lot more sense, because you killed way more Diablos in that mission, I, I do believe. And they stole the protection, and they, and they steal the money, which you get it back from them. So, they, in my opinion, I would change the Diablos' hostility to be after Shima, not... Uh, Uzi Rider. And it's kind of weird. Beca because uh, two missions triggered uh, triad hostility, um, trauma fire and uh, the pickup, I, I tested, I, I didn't do Uzi Rider, I tested to see if missions like uh, uh, Smackdown or um, Shima are secondary missions to trigger th those gangs' hostility, but no, it's only these missions from King Courtney. Okay, you're the kind of man we like as friend now. You're Irie, man. Real shooter. Appreciate it, dog. Um, okay. I'm not gonna start another mission because I think it's getting close to the 15, mi 15 minute end, so... I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I, um, yeah, this is a really fun part. Can't wait to upload this to make to make everybody laugh. All right, see ya.